And my major concern is that those of us in the developed world are actually now waking up to the trap that you have described so eloquently. The biggest problem I see is that in Africa, Asia, uh, China in particular, people who used to ride bikes, um, grow their own food, um, and basically um, live reasonably sustainably given the fact that they were always at the mercy of droughts and floods and so forth, as we are in Australia. Um, they're now giving up the bike, the walking, and all the things that we now realise are important for our health. And they're going for more cars, and of course the car manufacturers are answering their needs <coughs> with more cars. So it, there is a major problem, as I see, because we've developed, um, and they are still developing, and we really need to define very clearly what development actually means. And it is not just economic development, because the definitions are all wrong. Yeah, even the term development is so problematic, it just sounds like you're progressing towards something better. Um, so, a couple of thoughts on that. I think our primary responsibility is to get our own house in order. That our countries disproportionately consume resources, spew out um, pollution and create waste. So really, for the biggest bang for the buck, if we can change our behavior, that's where we're going to get the biggest bang in terms of actually um, improving environmental sustainability. Um, and part of that cleaning up our own house is making sure that we are not exporting crap we don't want to serve our country. So we export a lot of waste. The United States and Australia both export waste to third world countries. Um, we export products that we don't want, like um, pesticides that we say are too toxic to use on our children, you know, but you, we will still manufacture them and export them. We export technologies we don't want, like garbage incinerators, which are incredibly obsolete and polluting a horrific um, technology. We don't want them to be export dirty technologies, but I think the most dangerous thing we export is this growth obsessed, toxic laden, consumer friendly, manic culture that we export through our media, we export through our development aid. So I think the biggest help we can do to other countries is get our own houses in order, clean up our own act, model a better way of living, and don't export our crap overseas, and then make sure that our, our development aid. It's helping countries leapfrog over that dirty development stage so that we're sharing the best of our technologies, not just the stuff we don't want anymore. <coughs> you might have heard this term, NIMBY, not in my backyard, which is a lot, what a lot of environmentalists have been um, accused of. I don't want a garbage incinerator, but if it moves to Bangladesh, it's okay. So we really need to do is have global solidarity based on justice and change NIMBY to no, rather than not in my backyard, it's not on planet Earth.